All right, everyone, we are getting prepped to go climb the Shoe, which is on Tunnel Mountain in Banff National Park. It's a four pitch, five seven route. We're getting prepped here. And I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know if you've got any comments or questions down below. For this climb on Tunnel Mountain, I actually recommend for people to park down here at Surprise Corner. You can actually put Surprise Corner into your maps. And then there is a trail that goes along here. You actually pop up right here. And then as you can see, um, the start of the climb is down here. The end of it is up here. I'll get you guys a picture. So yeah, this is the picture of the climb. As you can see, this is kind of that roof feature that you can see here as well. So then yeah, the um, start is kind of down here. The first pitch, as you're gonna see in the video, it's pretty mild. And then you got pitch two, three, four, and there is a variation as well. If you want a little bit of a harder climb, there's a variation put into here. But anyways, this used to be a trad route. They retrofitted it. Now it's fully bolted and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. So my climbing partner and me, so this is Jody and myself, we're on our way. There's still a decent amount of snow on the ground. Here's us coming under the gondola roof. But the uh, cliffs here were completely bare, so it was really nice to get in a late March multi-pitch. So here we are at the base. So the first pitch, I didn't really film a lot. Um, we used these Rocky Talkies for the first time ever. They were great, by the way, for communicating on multi-pitches. But the first pitch is, <laughs> there's not much to show, so we kind of just skipped by it. This is pitch number two. I am leading up. Um, it's a nice pitch. I find that there's a lot of good footholds, a lot of good handholds. There is probably one spot right after this section where there was a bit of an interesting move. You just have to commit to a little bit of high feet, which I feel like is fairly average for uh, the Canadian Rockies. Anyways, this is me ending pitch number two, coming to the top here. We get a little shot of uh, Jody, my climbing partner, coming up that chimney with bounce springs in the background. And uh, then Jody went up and led pitch number three, and I am now following her. Pitch number three for me is the money pitch on this route. Um, the, the, the first pitch is kind of whatever, more of a scramble. The second pitch and the fourth pitch are fine, um, but the third pitch I find is the most fun. So we actually did break a hold on this uh, right after uh, the belay stance. My climbing partner Jody broke a hold. Um, so we had to go a little bit further left than I think the route normally goes, but we still were able to uh, make it up. And um, that's a thing, I mean, some of you already know, in the Canadian Rockies, after winter, <laughs> the routes need a little bit of cleaning up. Um, they need a little bit, we'll have some loose rock or rock that's been kind of expanded because of the ice. And so there'll be some holes that will break off. And so obviously be careful <laughs> when you're going out there and know what you're getting into. Here you got some really good holds. Um, you do have to do a little bit of high feet, but overall the holds I find are fairly juggy um, or like really good crimps, um, meaning that they're not actually that crimpy. So anyways, this is the part of the climb that I personally think is the best part.
kind of popping over um, a little bit of a section to get more so onto um, yeah some slab and then I'll be um, meeting up with my climbing partner Jody soon here at the Belay Stance 3 and then we'll go up and lead pitch number 4. Um, I've said this before but if you have any questions about this route, other routes, routes that you want us to film, feel free to comment them down below. Uh, my goal is to start to share a lot more of this stuff. I see some rock climbing videos on YouTube from this area, um, the Banff National Park area, but I do find that Number one, the footage is usually not that great. It's usually, you can only see like the people's hands because the GoPro is like on the helmet. And usually you kind of don't really even get like a, an idea of what the route feels like and looks like. And I know some people don't want that. So if you're thinking of watching these videos but you don't want the beta, you maybe don't watch these videos because uh, you see a lot of different things here. So my goal here is to be really educational, informative, show you what you can be getting into, and to answer any questions that you guys have. So here's yeah, a bit of a traverse across to ballet number uh, three. And so yeah, like I said, fully bolted the whole way, got rings at each ballet station. So here we uh, quickly switched over some gear um, so that I could start to lead pitch number four. Pitch number four has some fun parts to it. It definitely does feel a little bit stiffer than the grade says it is, in my opinion, but I'm also a fairly new rock climber. Um, I've only been climbing for a year and a couple months, um, and so I might change my mind as I get more advanced. And so yeah, this is the route. Um, it, it's such a good route, especially for those who are newer to leading and newer to multi-pitches um, because the climbing is not that difficult. If you think through it, you can usually find some good footholds, some good placements, um, and it's well protected. So if you're new to the game, this one, if, if you're um, a little bit hesitant to do this one, there's an easier one yet just a little bit to the left of this one called Dancing Sasquatch that uh, for me felt more like a scramble, but it is really, I think a 5.5 five or a 5.6 multi-pitch. So it's quite easy. So if this one looks a little bit too intense for you starting, do Dancing Sasquatch. But if you're feeling up for a little bit more of a challenge and still not quite hard, um, this is a good one. So here you can see I kind of got back into territory where it's not as steep, not as stiff and feeling a lot more comfortable, even just, you can see, I'm just standing there. you have feel free to leave them in the comments or you can follow us on Instagram it's Canadian Mountain Boy on there as well um, if you want to send me a message with more questions so there you see the bolter there on the rock nice place to sit so set up the anchor um, with a nice view and then it was time to play up Jody my partner to the top as well so here we are playing her up she gets to the top we pack everything up we head down, it's a nice like 10 minute walk to the parking lot. Nice, easy two hour round trip. 